So welcome to another edition of Ask the Expert from HeartFailureMatters.org. Uh, I'm Maggie Simpson, I'm a nurse in Glasgow, Scotland, and I'm delighted to be joined today by my colleague, Dr. Lorna Swan. Lorna is a cardiologist working in Glasgow and specialises in congenital heart disease and uh, relevant to today's topic, heart disease and pregnancy. Thank you for joining, Lorna. You're welcome. So, Lorna, to start with, could you describe the changes that happen in pregnancy that affect the heart? So, I think there are one, there's one big group of changes and then a couple of minor changes. So, I think to have a good pregnancy outcome, you need your heart needs to have the ability to increase its output. So, we say to increase its cardiac output. And that's the biggest change. So, as you can imagine, if you're growing a fetus, your heart needs to perform more than your baseline. And that's a big challenge for anybody's heart, never mind someone who's got heart failure. I think the other two things that affect your heart is your blood's more sticky. So definitely you're more at risk of clotting. And also your heart's more irritable in terms of your heart rhythm. So those are the three, the three components. Thank you. Now, Lorna, if a woman has heart failure, we tend to advise that uh, they avoid an unplanned pregnancy and that before any planned pregnancy, they speak to a specialist uh, in heart failure and pregnancy. Why do we do that? So I think having a baby and having a pregnancy is a big, as you know, is a big life decision on many fronts. If you've got heart failure, that potentially is something that might be challenging and has to be a real considered decision. Um, if that is a considered decision, then there's things we can do to try and reduce risk. Now, we can't reduce risk to zero, but we can definitely improve risk. So therefore, I think it's useful to have those conversations before pregnancy and not once you present an early pregnancy. And what patients should come forward for this type of advice? So I'm probably biased. So my bias would be that anyone who's ever had heart failure or any heart disease, I think, should get advice before they get pregnant. And I think the crucial thing is to get advice from someone who knows what they're talking about. Um, so seek out the right person to get advice from. And also, if you've got a family history of lots of people in your family with heart failure, it might be worth asking the question, is this something that might be an issue for me? Now, often that'll be good news and it won't be an issue, but it's always best to ask. Definitely, thank you. And can women with heart failure use contraception? Definitely. Please, please do. <laughs> um, so there's almost always some form of safe contraception that you can have that will work for you. Now, for people who've got bad heart failure or lots of health problems, it might be that they can't take oestrogens, but there are lots of alternatives. And I say, definitely, again, that's something to ask about. Great. And like you said earlier, ask the right person, so the, the specialist the right in this area. Yeah. Grand, thank you. So, thank you to Dr. Swan for joining us today. Um, if you want any other information about heart failure, living with heart failure um, or pregnancy in heart failure, please look to the other parts of heartfailurematters.org.